My name is Wolf Schroeder, and I'm a caster of the Overwatch League. So it's 3.30 p.m. here in California. I just woke up because I need to sleep late so that I can make sure that I do my show really well at night. I don't live a glamorous amazing life, you know, here in California. I wake up, I eat ramen, something basic for lunch, watch the news. So right now I'm writing down this week's hero bands because I don't want to accidentally um, suggest that someone should play Mercy during a brain fart uh, in the middle of the show. So this is something that's kind of new for me for this season. It's just writing these down on a piece of paper. I probably wouldn't do this if I was working from a studio, but since I'm working from home, it's easy to just put this piece of paper on my desk. So, I also have um, a page of notes that you probably can't really read very well right now, where I'm gonna put the starting rosters for all four teams that I'm casting today, um, as well as some notes I, I took from researching them a little bit throughout the week, watching their play from last week. This is kind of unique and special. Um, it's a card I made for Echo. And only Overwatch believed. You are my life's work. You will be everything I dreamed. Because uh, I'm going to be casting her first pro games in the Overwatch League. It just has a list of her abilities and what they're called so I don't mess them up. Because when I'm not used to casting a new hero, sometimes I um, kind of stutter like... The Sigma it is a gr 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 Gravitic Flux, um, so it's just a, a way for me to remember her ability names officially, um, even though we don't always use the official names. So that's going to sit on my desk, some hotkeys for my stream settings. So I'm pretty much already ready to go for the show, even though it's now 4.15. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. I think we can just be honest. About, like if, especially if there's like a pause or something and you want to like talk about it. A lot of people ask me what it's like to cast from home uh, versus casting in a studio. I really don't like casting at home actually. It's way more fun uh, casting in a studio even if there's no fans just because it feels like I'm at work, I'm you know in a professional studio. The studio setup is always gonna be better than what I can make <laughs> even if, if Blizzard gives me good equipment. So I think the most important thing for me is I really like to keep separate my home and my work. Rosters come after the, the video, so we're gonna like throw to the video and then talk about the rosters or... There's definitely something missing. I don't have my regular office I have at home, but uh, it's not hard. It's just a little bit uncomfortable. These things happen. Normally when something breaks, someone fixes it for me, but not here, not today. All right, it's fixed for now. I plugged into the back port. There was one open. I didn't think there was, but there was. So I'm done with my rehearsal. It's 11.40 p.m., which means I have one hour until I need to be back. 12.40 when I'm going to be doing final checks, final tests, before I go live at 1 a.m. The one thing that's left to do is to get my makeup done. Uh, I got this kit from one of our makeup artists uh, at Blizzard, Alyssa. She made it for me, and everyone has one. Everyone has to do their own makeup. You can tell and compare. I go from this to this. Antrim Yepiti. I want to make sure I have enough energy to make it through the night. So that's why I'm going to make coffee. A lot of coffee. I'll show you just how much in a little bit. Um, and I'm going to make sure I've got enough energy drinks to survive if it goes late if I am gonna be really tired. Just in case, you never know. Today is pretty special because my co-caster, Achilles, is sick and he's never missed a cast in his entire career. So the one day that we decided to do a recording about my home casting, 
my main partner is actually not with me today. So I'm actually going to be casting with ZP, one of my close friends and co-casters I've worked with for a long time. Um, we used to play Heroes of the Storm together, so we've known each other for a long time. It's going to be our first time casting together, so I'm excited about it. I think he and I will have a fun time. I hope uh, Achilles gets better soon. Making a lot of coffee. So I wanted to show you guys my desk and my casting setup. This is my camera. It's kind of hard to see because it's really bright. My notes, my empty coffee cup that's going to be filled. This is what I cast off. If I only have one monitor, I'm probably the only caster who only has one monitor. Just because I'm not working from home and Blizzard sent me this. They tried to give me two, but I told them I didn't need it, and I regret that. I've got two Bacchus here, just for emergencies if I get really tired or if it goes really late. I probably won't end up drinking those. I also have these brownies here, because they're really easy to eat in a break. I stand with this sponsor backdrop. So what it looks like when I'm on camera. Fancy lights and makeup. Time to cast Overwatch the Time for Echo in the Overwatch League ZP. It's been a long time. She was removed. She was not in the hero pool last week, so everyone was really excited to see her in Overwatch League. She was not able to be played. Obviously, are gonna see Creative for the first time. Jester and Marvel, the big heroes right now in terms of the tank line. I am a huge fan of this player forever. People say, like, oh, Wolf only loves Korea, right? You know, like I was talking about before, um, I think I'm biased for Korea. Yeah, she certainly does. I mean, this map plays very different. Like, I know what I'm casting, I know the credit I'm doing, I know all the research I've done. The players I like and the players I say good things about are always the good players. A lot of really good Western players. Not just in Overwatch League, but, you know, when I was casting Heroes of the Storm, StarCraft as well. Uh, and when players do well, you know, you have to say it, and I do. And I think it's a product of me casting mostly Koreans, right? Overwatch League is like 60% Korean, maybe more now. I've cast Korean players in Korea for a really long time. Give me the afro. Would he prefer me with- I love Korea, it's where I live. It's my favorite place in the world. I felt like parting was an experiment in terror. Yeah, I speak Korean. And if you go to my Twitter, you see half of my tweets are in Korean. So I think people might misunderstand or get the wrong idea, but they don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, even if people like curse at me or talk uh, in Twitch chat or YouTube chat. Honestly, I usually don't even notice. And there's there's always like five or ten people who will always hate you, no matter what, no matter how good you are, even if everybody else likes you. And that's okay, because casting is not like a law. There's not rules, like every person is different. Every person has a different personality. And some people don't like my personality, and some people don't like my casting. And that's normal. I'm totally cool with that. I don't get mad when people don't like me, right? because I know I'm doing a good job, I'm doing my best job. My, my casting style is not for everyone. That's why we have, you know, 10 casters in the Overwatch League. There's 10 different people and five different pairs you can watch. <sighs> that is what a good cast tastes like. So I just wanted to kind of do this video uh, today where I show you guys um, what my work is like and what my work is like at home, even though I'm not at home uh, here in my apartment in LA, because I get a lot of questions every day about why I haven't come back to Korea, why am I not in Korea, why aren't I coming home? Even though I've, I've mentioned it a few times in other videos, not everybody watches every single video, so I totally understand that. But yeah, now you guys got to see what it's like, what I'm doing, what I'm working on here in America, and hopefully this one for you guys. I tried to show you guys as much as I could, and I hope it was a fun video. I'm not sure if it turned out perfectly or not, but. I want to make more videos like this. Uh, I know the video is mostly in English, so hopefully uh, the subtitles for the Korean fans um, ends up helping you guys understand. But I had a lot of fun doing this video and showing you guys the other side of my life. Hopefully, I'll be going back to Korea soon and uh, I'll be updating you guys along the way. So please just wait a little bit longer. See you guys in the next video.